getting ready to make us some tacos, keto style. Okay, so I'm grounding up about a half a pound of axis and a half a pound of white tail deer. So I've kind of mixed it all together and we're gonna, this is gonna be part of the filling for our tacos. And I have been doing keto since January. So uh, I thought I'd show you a few of the different things that we do. Um, some of the recipes that we've tried now that we're doing keto. Uh, we don't know everything there is to know about keto, but I'm trying to figure out, you know, different recipes and research online and see what works for us. So by no means do I know everything about keto and I'm not a chef, but I thought I'd show some of the, the recipes that we use. Um, we came back from church and we decided we wanted to do tacos today for lunch. So okay. instead of making regular tortillas and, and doing tacos, um, that way, with the tortillas and the carbs, um, what we found online is a recipe for uh, making the taco shells out of cheese. So, and it's really yummy. So I've grated up some cheese. And basically what you want to do, and we've learned this the hard way, you really do want to use parchment paper. Because if you use foil, or if you use something else, or you put something, uh, you put it directly on the pan, it is going to uh, stick. It's going to stick and it is going to be a huge mess. So parchment paper is a must. Um, and then what I do is I'll fill the kind of a measuring cup just to get a little bit of a portion control. But I am do about a fourth of a cup of grated cheese. This is sharp cheddar cheese, by the way. You can use um, any kind of cheese that you want. Um, there's a lot of times that we change it up and I'll use pepper jack cheese or use some of the other cheeses that we have um, just to change it up a little. But I'm putting about a fourth of a cup of grated cheese, give or take, in mounds on the parchment paper. And then what I like to do is kind of spread it out just a little bit. And then put it in the oven for... 350 degrees for about mm, five, 10 minutes. So I timed it and these I've done for about six minutes. So I'm getting ready to pull them out now. And I'm gonna set them aside and let them cool for a few minutes and they'll, they'll set. Okay, Stormy and I are gonna make a guacamole too to go with our tacos. Just a little bit of onion and avocado and tomato and salt and pepper and a little bit of lime juice as well. here about three avocados and I uh, am going to throw in some onions and some tomatoes I'm not even measuring it out I'm just mixing it all together Get salt and I like putting garlic powder and onion powder in mine as well And then they keep the avocados from turning and put some lime juice in here as well. Okay, so if you're trying to lose weight on keto, obviously portion control is a must and um, you need to measure everything out and be exact with your measurements so you can calculate everything properly. If you're not trying to lose weight and you're just eating healthier, then doing what I'm doing right now is perfectly fine. Um, it's mainly the ingredients and not quite as much as uh, measuring things out. Okay, so the cheese tortillas have cooled, so now we can take them off and see how pliable they are. I'm gonna make a taco. Guacamole, some sour cream, and we have a keto taco.